Hey, oh, I'm back, my easy. What's going on, guys? My name is Jason McKay, Miles Murphy K, aka King Marcus. We're back with a video, and uh, sorry, I've been gone for a little bit, guys. I'm gone. Well, actually, no, nah, I posted last week, uh, posted the Boruto reaction, and I also posted like my little clip of that, my, my, a little clip of my future projects coming up really soon. The guys do enjoy when it drops, never going really ham on that video, bro. Uh, on the film, short film and everything, man, uh, crazy, 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 but, uh, you guys, I'm not, guys, I'm pretty tired right now, I'm not even gonna hold you, I'm pretty exhausted, uh, had a long day, uh, long day and everything, um, I figured why not get these Demon Slayer, there's some Demon Slayer videos I wanted to react to, I know the Demon Slayer game, uh, I forgot who was the character they showcased, so we're gonna get on, or to, but we'll probably react to that, maybe to, I don't know, maybe later on today, it depends how I feel about, after we get done with these two videos, um, I don't know, wait, we'll see, we'll see what happens, right, guys, but I, I saw, I saw IGN, uh, did this, this review for the Demon Slayer movie, and they actually saw it, so I kind of want to see what they have to say about the, uh, movie, I was about to say game, about the movie, because, I don't know, man, I, I heard, because, like, you know, it's, you guys, everybody knows, it's just doing total freaking damage in Japan, and all that good stuff, right, so I, I gotta see, like, what, um, like, what's so hype about, like, what's so crazy about this movie, and hopefully I drink it, I don't know, I saw a lot of dislike, dislikes on this joint, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to react to it, because, like, I know they probably put something that was out of line, out of pocket, so, y'all know how IGN be getting with these reviews, man, so, um, yeah, we're gonna check it out, and see what we got going on here, man, let's see. Stunning theatrical continuation of one of anime's biggest recent hits, Demon Slayer, the movie Mugen Train only slightly misses the mark. The film aims to show us how the characters have grown from training after their last life and death battle and how to have them learn the hard way just how far they still have to go. Right. Moments after the end of the TV series, the film yeah, follows our team okay, so this is the TV after the anime. Where both normal people and demon hunters have gone missing in mass, likely due to demons. Of course, this means that whatever's going on is a bit too much for mid-level hunters like Tanjiro and his friends, so they are assigned to work with Ringoku, one of the nine strongest hunters in their organization. Yet, as they begin to explore the mystery of the train, it quickly becomes clear that raw power alone will not be enough to save all those. Oh, so, okay. I mean, which makes sense. I mean, that makes sense. Good character development, with each side character getting their own time in the spotlight to do something meaningful, its villain, Inmu, gets almost none at all. Up to this point, the villains have often had layers to them. Something deep inside that both Tanjiro and the viewer can empathize with, even mm. as he cuts them down. Inmu, though, is spectacularly one note. He is a sadist, plain and simple. He shows no remorse for his actions and only regrets not killing more people. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That's, 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 that's some different timing right there. That's, that's different. Villain of the franchise. And yet, Inmu still isn't the weakest aspect of the film. The climax nah, is. really. While the majority of the film so is spent... So Inmu's not a good villain, title, huh? He is not the emotional core of the film. Rengoku is. The movie mm. lives or dies on how well one connects with Rengoku, and it's hard to connect with him because we don't know Rengoku. Moreover, exactly. Well, yeah. Unless you read the manga, I know. Him either. While he did appear briefly in the series proper, he was equal parts antagonist and comic relief during Nezuko's trial. In fact, before the film, Rengoku and Tanjiro never even had a single conversation. In mm. this film, beyond talking in battle, they have only two brief conversations and neither are particularly deep. No matter how much the score swells or the voice... So, they're not, so for they're what all, they're saying, there's not like a, a, a lot of good... A lot of... A lot of bleh, there's not a lot of development between the two characters. They don't really develop like a relationship, huh? That's us, I, I, I don't like to see a, a good connection with Tanjiro and uh, Rengoku. Colors, dynamic camera movements. It's got all the things we've come to expect from youthful tables animation in recent years oh yeah for sure i mean this is this is pretty much so uh, he, oh, this movie's kind of trash. I, mean, <laughs> oh, I guess he can't he didn't want to dive too much so he can get his spoilers the TV game, yeah. mainly on the water effects the film aims to do something comparable with fire it feels powerful otherworldly and perfect for something that's supposed to be able to destroy even the most powerful of demons 
Visuals alone make Demon Slayer the movie Mugen Train well worth a watch, even if the film stumbles a bit at the climax. Those who enjoy the TV series will no doubt enjoy the film, as it is a solid continuation of the show's main story, and will no doubt be a major moment that shapes the next steps in our heroes' lives. However, it's probably best to temper your expectations going in. While it's a good film, it isn't the next timeless anime classic, no matter how popular it may be at the moment. Mm. Alright, so, a couple things I got from this. Character development, not really, I guess, not a huge key point. Has great uh, anime, well, obviously, Demon Slayer, great animation, great fighting, um, fighting parts. Not a lot of good, connect, not really a connection between Tanjiro and uh, Rengoku. Which sucks because I would love to kind of see like how those two are going to kind of inter interact with each other. Um, the emotional aspect is not really in between Tanjiro, in the, in, which is kind of wild to me because he's a very emotional character, especially throughout the series of Demon Slayer. It's mostly on Rengoku, so that's pretty crazy. Emu, the villain, I guess he's not really a good villain from what they were saying. Alright, I mean, hey man, I mean, look. I'm so trying. I don't even know if it's if it's coming out like where we where I even live at, bro. So you know, we'll see what happens, right? Uh, ah, what you guys think, man? What you guys think of the review for IGN, man? I'm I'm looking forward to see what. Uh, can I? Hopefully, I will be able to catch the movie or something like that, bro. But yeah, I don't got too much to say. But I'll see you guys in my next video, man. Uh. The next video should be about, I don't know, there's something about season two. Somebody's talking about season two of Demon Slayer, I, and I kind of caught my interest. So I kind of want to react to that. And uh, um, that's about it. But I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Uh, yeah. Bye, Z.